Okay guys, so I'm gonna get the shameless plug out of the way first. Obviously this is a part two video, so there must be a part one somewhere. So if you haven't seen that one yet, then you can check out our first Strangest Places to Dive video here. Uh, if you have already watched it, then great, good for you. Why not watch it again? You might have forgotten it. Um, just, you know, leave it on repeat overnight or something. That That's cool with us, that, that gets the, the view counter up. And click on all the adverts, twice up. Uh, now, if you've been following our channel for any time, you might have noticed that you can see me now, which is a little odd for a Friday feature. I'm, I'm real. Um, and, uh, and this is really to manage the possibility of Article 13 from affecting our channel because Article 13. Uh, even though, ironically, this very first video is going to use a lot of other scuba divers clips uh, because I haven't actually dived these locations yet, but you will be seeing a lot more of me. Uh, Whoa. <coughs> So, more strange places to dive, I hear you ask. You want more strange places to dive? Fine, I'll give you more strange places to dive. Here are five of the strangest places to scuba dive, part two. Underwater volcano, Mahengatang, Indonesia. Located between Siau and Sangihi Islands in Indonesia is a pretty rare thing. An underwater volcano. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Affectionately named Banua Wuhu, named after the drink, obviously. Um, this starts at the surface and plunges all the way down to 400 meters. Um, because this is basically an active volcano and an island, uh, there is plenty of marine life all over it just for plastic pollution to decimate in the forthcoming years, or maybe even by the end of this video. That's a sad thought. So this is still an active volcano. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you might get the odd outburst of pesky volcanic gases, yeah, uh, some sulphur-covered rocks, because who doesn't like the smell of rotting eggs, um, but the water temperature isn't unusually warm, uh, and we can't actually figure out why we can find any references to why the water temperature would be so high next to an active volcano, but, I don't know, maybe one of you guys can figure it out. The Kraken! He's rubbing all his tentacles That's together, it. getting it nice and warm, getting ready for his dinner. <coughs> Cancun's National Park in Cancun, Mexico. If you're a fan of creepy statues, then Cancun's underwater national park is the place for you. Allegedly, a lot of the locals went missing just before the, these lifelike statues were unveiled, but no one's figured out why. That is a joke. There's no background premise to that at all. <coughs> Cancun attracts hundreds of thousands of tourists every single year and this underwater museum was built to lure some of them away from the actual reefs to give the marine life a break. The museum consists of, yeah, a bunch of artistic, slightly creepy statues. Some say the very first rendition of this museum was filled with oil paintings and watercolours, but for some reason they changed their minds to just boring concrete statues. I reckon they missed an opportunity if you ask me, but these statues are of course growing new bits of statue, as new things grow on them so every time you visit, they're a little bit different. A crater, Homestead Crater Midway in Utah. This one sounds a lot like a luxury man-made dive site in probably the last place you'd expect a dive site, Utah. Utah isn't really known for its dive sites being, you know, landlocked and all. And the satellite view of Utah is pretty brown from all the dust there, but it does have the odd lake and this crater is filled with crystal clear thermal warmed spring water. Very fancy. The water is a balmy 35 degrees Celsius or 96 degrees Fahrenheit, so not a lot of marine life actually lives there. It's a little bit too warm. Oh, and it's all underground, and you have to get to it through a tunnel as well. 
There is some natural light though in a hole in the roof of the cavern, but they've still installed underwater lighting and they encourage you to bring a light or two so you know you can see it's still pretty dark in there but they do give you a depth limit of around 14 of the maximum 20 meters depth so that divers don't stir up all the silt and just ruin it for a few days. Ice diving McMurdo Sound. Most people think diving in the Arctic would be pretty empty, with it being a tad nippy, hitting lows of around negative 40 degrees Celsius, or negative degrees 40 Fahrenheit, because that's where those two thermometers cross over. But there is actually plenty of colorful stuff to look at. I mean, there's all these different plastic bags down there, isn't there, from all the different shops, and they're all so colorful. But you may have to chop through some ice and pad out your shorty just to go diving there. Clear waters is why you jump through the three meter thick ice so you can see all of this plastic pollution around you from a distance. There, no, no, there's not that much up there. Uh, and <laughs> yet, and there is a bunch of starfish and sort of colorful, pretty things to look at as well. It is pretty dark too because the ice cuts out all but about 1% of the natural sunlight. This is a bit of a pinnacle of diving as well, and it isn't for amateurs. You need to be pretty squared away and comfortable with your diving and your gear to be privileged enough to go scuba diving here. Subway car Atlantic City Reef in Atlantic City, or just off the coast of Atlantic City. Our final place is for the wreck divers who are bored of shipwrecks and planes in the water. Because ships sink and planes crash, you're not too surprised to find them in the water, but what is a tad odd to see in the ocean is a subway car. Subway cars are known to, you know, stay on tracks and don't tend to crash out into the open ocean. But this submerged subway car is in the waters around New Jersey and is ironically cleaner than some of the ones that are actually in action today. A whole bunch of stuff was intentionally sunk off the east coast to create new artificial reefs and something for divers to look at too. So, what do you think about part two, huh? Do you have enough suggestions for a part three, maybe? You'll never guess number four. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if you do know of some odd places to go scuba diving near you, then let us know in the comments, and you never know, it might get featured in our next video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.